Hello and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and what I'm going to show you today is a way to simplify the F curves of an animation for an object within Blender. Now most of the time this is not necessary or you can do it manually, but there are times when your F curves become very very noisy and very cluttered. And a perfect example of this is involves the paradigm that Blender 2.5 introduced of the ability to animate everything or anything. And one of the options that that paradigm introduced was the ability to record animations on the fly. And what I mean by this is by just checking the, the record button and hitting Alt A to play back my animation. If I just zip back to the beginning and then hit G and start moving my cube around, you'll notice that it's placing keyframes at every frame where the movement of my cube has changed. And if I just place that back in the center by left clicking, I can see that it's played back this entire animation. So I'll go ahead and turn off the record button, zip back to the beginning, and then just hit Alt A, and you'll notice that it plays back having traced the movement that I moved the cube along. But you'll notice one of the problems is, is that my animation is very, very jerky. You know, I want a very nice smooth animation, at least for, for this example. Now, this may not be the most practical way to animate, but it shows a very cool proof of concept on that you can actually basically just move your object around with your mouse to animate. But like I said, it lends a very, very jerky animation. And so what I want to show you is a way to smooth out those animations using the new add-on scripts. So first off, let's go ahead and split our view. And let's just pull up the F-curve or the graph editor. And you can see that our F-curves are just ridiculous. You know, they're absolutely obscene. If we hit shift space to maximize this, you know, if you were to try and go in and edit this, you know, maybe I want to smooth out all these peaks and valleys, it'd be very, very cumbersome to do so. But using the new add-on script, which we can access by going to the user preferences and add-ons underneath the add curve category, let's just enable the curve simplify curves by check, checking the, the, the box there. And we'll go ahead and close this. And then immediately, you know, nothing's changed. But if we go ahead and hit space, space bar, and type in simplify, you'll notice we have a new option called simplify F curves. Well, let's just hit enter to bring that up. And you'll notice it's been pulled up in the the operator panel or you can access it from F6 and let's just zooming in here let's just start dragging this to the right and you can immediately see it's just simplifying those curves and you can simplify it as much as you want and if you hold down shift you can make it much more accurate so you can get just a little bit of time let's maybe just go all the way down until we've got all of our main peaks and valleys say to about right there that looks pretty darn good if we'll just leave that so you know at 0.651 and now if I play this back, I've got nearly the exact same animation, but it's very, very nice and smooth. You know, now I've got a very manageable amount of keyframes in here. I could go ahead and add in more if I wanted to, but I don't have that ridiculous mass, as you can see here, that, you know, is not impossible to animate. 